I have is uh, Rudy Strofsky is what is hemoglobin uh, but before starting this discussion I would like to request you to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day now hemoglobin is a portion uh, it's in the blood you know and uh, it's a protein molecule in the red blood cells and uh, this uh, carries oxygen from the lungs to the body's tissues and it turns the carbon dioxide from the tissues back to the lungs. So the hemoglobin is made up of four protein molecules, uh, globulin chains that are connected together and the normal adult hemoglobin uh, molecule contains two alpha globulin chains and the two beta globulin chains and uh, in fetus and in fats the beta chains are not common and the hemoglobin molecule is uh, made up of two alpha chains and the two gamma chains. Now as the infant grows, uh, the gamma chains are gradually replaced by the beta chains uh, forming the adult hemoglobin structure. Now each uh, uh, globulin chain contains an important iron containing uh, uh, porphyrin compound termed heme, H-E-M-E. H -E -M -E. Uh, embedded within the heme compound is an iron atom. Uh, that is vital in transporting the oxygen and the carbon dioxide uh, in the blood, you know. And the iron contained in the hemoglobin is also responsible for the red uh, color of the blood. Uh, hemoglobin also plays an important role in maintaining the shape of the red blood cells and uh, uh, in their natural shape. The red blood cells are round. Uh, uh, with narrow centers resembling a donut without a hole uh, in the middle, you know. And the abnormal hemoglobin structures can therefore uh, disrupt the shape of the red blood cells and uh, impede their function and uh, flow through the blood vessels, you know. Uh, the next thing is how uh, the hemoglobin is measured. Now, the hemoglobin is usually measured as uh, the part of the routine. Um, uh, complete blood count also known as CBC uh, from the blood sample you know and the several methods exist for measuring the hemoglobin and most of which are done currently as the automated machines designed to perform the different tests uh, of the blood you know and uh, within the machine the red blood cells are broken down uh, to get the hemoglobin into a solution and uh, the free hemoglobin is exposed to a chemical containing cyanide uh, that uh, binds tightly uh, with the hemoglobin molecule to form uh, cyano uh, uh, methemoglobin you know so by shining a light uh, through this solution and measuring how much light is absorbed especially at the wavelength of uh, uh, 540 uh, nanometers you know the amount of hemoglobin can be determined And the next thing is, uh, what are the normal hemoglobin values in the blood? Well, the hemoglobin level is expressed as the amount of hemoglobin in grams per deciliter. So, gm per dm of the whole blood. Uh, and a deciliter being uh, 100 milliliters, you know. So one deciliter is equal to 100 milliliters. So the normal range of hemoglobin depends on the age uh, and the gender. And the newborns have a, a normal value about 17 to uh, 22 gram per deciliter. And uh, at the age of one week, it's 15 to 20 in gram per deciliter. And one month age, 11 to 15 gram per deciliter. And the children age from 11 to 13, um, they are 11 to 11 to 13 is the gram per deciliter in the children, you know, yeah. And uh, adult males uh, is the normal value is 14 to 18 gram per deciliter, and the adult woman uh, normal value is from 12 to 16 uh, gm per deciliter. And the men after the middle age, uh, uh, their normal value is 12.4 uh, uh, to 14.9 gram per deciliter. And the women after the middle age are 11.7 to 13.8 gram per deciliter. 
Now, all these values may vary slightly between the laboratories and uh, some laboratories do not uh, differentiate uh, between adult and after middle age uh, hemoglobin values, you know. And the pregnant females uh, are advised to avoid uh, both high and low hemoglobin levels to avoid any increasing risk of uh, stillbirths, you know. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any medical disease or condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Thank you and goodbye.